The day I graduated college in 2005, I decided to start a rental company. It took a few years until it became successful enough to be my full-time job, but now it's all I do. My hope is to help you by sharing my knowledge. In today's video, I'm going to be going over all the different kind of dollies and carts and just warehouse moving equipment. But I first got a delivery to a dome, a sports dome, so I'll show you that first. And then while I'm here, while I'm loading up, I wanted to show you a little trick with the ratchets if they're too short when you're trying to ratchet something that's far from the wall. So I've got 25 tables for delivery here, but they kind of come out far and the ratchet was too short to reach all the way to the wall. So what we do is we just grab another ratchet and then put the hook through it to the ratchet that it's going to reach to. Uh, and it, it just makes it longer without having to tie knots and then having to deal with untying knots later. All right, so I wanted to go inside, but there's an airlock thing behind me uh, that both doors can't open at the same time. So we delivered everything to the airlock. I really wanted to go inside see what it was like being in there with no one else in there because uh, that's kind of a cool part of the job is doing it and going places where a lot of other people just don't get to go yeah I know this is a, a, a sports dome so a lot of people go there for the events but it's not like you're ever in there alone and in the middle of the field but can't do that today because the airlock that's okay it's still cool this dome is huge it actually collapsed last year with uh all the snow it was a crazy thing to see we were doing a delivery we didn't see the collapse but we saw this entire dome just on the ground that had been very expensive and sucky but they fixed it all and hopefully won't fall again okay so back at the warehouse and now i'm just going to show you all the various things that we use to move things around uh, i just want to say these are not requirements when i first started out it was all moving things by hand these things can add up and they're kind of expensive and I understand you're not going to get them your first year and a lot of them not your second or third year but uh, as you start doing things and you're like wow this sucks what can I do to make this a little faster these are some ideas so in the beginning you're just going to be putting in sweat sweat equity because it's a little cheaper than buying all this stuff but I'm in the dish area right now so I'll start with that um, a lot of our stuff is on these specifically made dish carts. I know like the glassware sits right on it and you can move it around. We usually deliver it on that. Then we've got these uh, big frames with wheels where a lot of dishes can sit on those. Uh, and then we use these Harbor Freight blue dollies. I started with Harbor Freight blue dollies because I thought that was good for all the chairs and stuff until I went and visited another rental company and realize that there's better dollies out there for the chairs. I mean, these dollies work, but the wheels suck and it's hard to move them around sometimes. But we do use these around the warehouse to move dishes around. Um, so that's it for the dish room. I'll walk out into the main warehouse. Right here is one of those uh, carts, wooden carts. This is my entire 30 by 60 frame tent. These are all, this is all the vinyl pieces for it. So we just keep it on there. If we got to do a 30 by 45 tent, we just take the whole thing. Um, so that gets us moving this around easy. Um, then I got a lot of stuff in bins. Like all my frame tent hardware for specific tents is in a bin. And again, it's on a blue dolly. We don't deliver things on blue dollies, but we do use them around the warehouse to move things around. So I got this in bins. That really helps. I've got all my steak caps in bins. Got a C on it for steak caps. And we just got a whole bunch of them. Uh, if you don't know what a steak cap is, let me show you. It's a thing that goes on top of a steak so that when people fall on it, if they fall on it, they don't get hurt. So a lot of stuff is in bins that we're using all the time and that you know has a large quantity or number or you don't want to be just throwing that in the truck loose. And then a lot of my videos, I've shown you all my chairs are on the green carpeted dollies. These wheels are much better than the ones from Harbor Freight. Um, you know, they're more expensive though, like 50 bucks instead of 20. But uh, this is it, it's green carpeted. 
It's got rubber wheels and they roll over mostly anything. On hard grass, you can roll them real easy. Um, let's see, what else? So, these are round table carts. We don't really use them that often. I bought a whole bunch of used tables and I got the carts for free when we did that. Uh, if we're delivering 10 tables somewhere, uh, sometimes we'll just put them on there and just leave the whole cart with the people. Then I got an empty bin in here. A gander mountain near me was closing down, so we got a whole bunch of these. We'll throw sidewalls in those uh, frame pieces. Any, anything that we can and just ratchet to the wall of the truck. And then this one's kind of weird, but garbage cans. That one's being used as a real garbage can. But garbage cans are useful to bring things around like the 100 cup coffee makers. Uh, we don't really have something to put those in during transport, so we'll just put it in the garbage can so it doesn't get all busted up. And uh, when we're on the job site, we'll take all our tent bags, our sidewall bags, anything that we use to put those tents up, we'll put in the garbage can so it's not making a big mess in the truck. And then when we deliver lots of chairs to like a college, we'll take the covers off of the white padded chairs and all the ratchets. And I have a video on that. It's called Quick Tips. I don't remember what number it is though. But we'll put all the ratchets and covers in there so we can move things around easy. Now this one, it's kind of a given if you've got a warehouse. Some things are on pallets or when people, when you order something and a truck comes, it's on a pallet. So you need a pallet jack and that gets stuff around the warehouse really easy. I got a big giant mess of tents over here because the contractors are still like working over here. But a lot of these tents are on pallets. Then Shivari chairs, which are the fancy chairs that don't fold, um, that stack. There is specific dollies for Shivari chairs. It's got a arm that goes up and down so you can use it for other things. But the, it goes right under and then you can lean it back and uh, you can move all your Shivari chairs really easy. And on the topic of Shivari chairs, we've got all of our chair pads in these bins on wheels because the chair pads take up a lot of room and you don't want them loose in your truck. So we've got them all in these bins, um, usually covered so no dust gets on them. And then we just deliver the chairs and the pads all at once and we leave the bins because the people got to take the pads off and put them back in the bins. Then there is this four wheel dolly, which we use for, we use it every day. It goes on, on the truck whenever we go out because a lot of our stuff is heavy. You can carry a whole stack of chairs across the yard, no problem because it's got four wheels. You don't have to hold the weight. It holds itself and you just pull or push. Um, tents are heavy, everything's heavy. We do, we use that for every single delivery. If uh, you know we're going to the backyard, we can put like six, eight foot tables on that sideways and bring them back and take one trip instead of instead of three to six. Uh, let's see, what else have I got? So I guess that kind of rounds up the handling equipment. All the different carts for the dishes, the chairs, the really bad Harbor Freight ones, which we use to move things around the warehouse, the the wooden cart that I got my frame tent on. We have another one of those that we use as needed. Um, all the hand trucks, the dollies, and uh, the pallet jack, uh, the chair, I'm sorry, the table dollies, which I'm trying to sell those because we don't use them that much and they take up a lot of space. Oh, and then one last one. Uh, this is our propane tank dolly because these 100 pro pound propane tanks are quite heavy and they fit right in right in there and you can move it around easy. Uh, like I said, all these things are not needed when you first start. It, it seems kind of daunting, like you gotta put in so much money to like do this, but none of this is actually needed. You can do everything with muscle and sweat and labor. And then as you continue on, just trying to find ways to do things faster, you'll start getting things with wheels and carts and uh, bins are you know really easy. Those are pretty cheap. Um, to hold things 
like your frame tent pieces or your caps or anything else that you just don't want flying around your truck. So that's what we got. I'm sure there's more. I can't think of everything walking around the warehouse, but these are the things that make my life easier and just make my employees life easier and thus saving time and then thus saving money. It's all about efficiency.